The last point I want to spend some time on is this whole idea of worth the risk. Jesus is worth it. Everything we spend our time on related to this kingdom, talking about this present kingdom, is going to pale and fade and get rusty. And it's, honestly, it's pointless. We get so stressed out about all the trinkets and treasure and keeping up with all the stuff. And the reality is, it's all fading. The things of this world, I loved the worship we had this morning. The things of this world grow strangely dim in light of his glory and grace. The things of this world grow strangely dim in light of his glory and grace. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. He's worth it. Whatever the cost, whatever the cost today for you, he's worth it. Whatever the sacrifice today, he's worth it. Whatever the risk today, he's worth it. Listen to these verses. Whatever the cost, he's worth it. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits his soul? Whatever the sacrifice, he's worth it. Romans 8, 18. For I consider that the suffering... Sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Romans 8, 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Whatever the risk, he's worth it. What's the risk? This light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Whatever the cost, he's worth it. Whatever the sacrifice, he is worth it. Whatever the risk, he is worth it. Um, I'm pretty convinced that most of us still live in relative comfort, including myself. I don't wonder if the light's going to come on when I walk in my kitchen or if my toilet's going to flush when it's time to flush it or when I go into the refrigerator and open the door and I still don't understand how the light comes on at that perfect time. But but the idea that there's food in my refrigerator. We live in relative comfort. But I'm inviting you today into a life of risk. What is risk? It's a life of faith. Risk, when we live a life of risk, what are we saying? We're stepping out of our comfort zone. Our yes is on the table and I'm way out here. And I'm saying, God, you have me. Get out of your comfort zone, whatever that is, and get into a life of faith and a life of risk. Because here's what happens when we do that. We move ourselves from an understanding of, I've got this, to a life of, there's no way I can do this way out here without him. So what does that do? Risk leads to dependency on God, right? And most of us, we live a relative rhythm of life where we don't feel this sense of urgency. Like, God, I can't make it today without you. When was, when was the last time you felt that deep in your heart as you were pushing into the kingdom of God that you were out there so far that you're saying as you wake up, God, I can't do this day with all that you're calling me to that's of faith without you. So faith or risk leads to this spirit of dependency that you can't get without risking. And y'all, that's where we're meant to live. A life of faith. The Bible says whatever's not of faith is sin. <laughs> Hello, wrap your minds around that. If I'm stuck in comfort and a lack of faith, then I'm, I'm not really walking in the power of the Holy Spirit in this yielded life to the Lord. And that's where we're meant to live every single day. That's why Christianity uh, can sometimes be perceived as boring to the world around us because we just live this mundane, rote,
comfortable life. And the world is looking for a people who would say, I'm interruptible. My life is his. I'm willing to risk for the glory of God. It's a life of faith. And so risk leads to dependency, and dependency then leads to this intimacy with God that I don't think you can get without risking. And so that's where he wants us to be.